another calm day in rallying mode for the market. And we like to see that. We believe the market is strong and it has many reasons to continue being strong, particularly inflation. As there's more dollars printed, as it becomes clear that people have a whole lot of money, as Goldman continues to say things like people making less than 60000 now need 26% higher wages to go back to work, it becomes clear that anything that is not a dollar should be worth more dollars, and that means stocks. So I'm not saying stocks are ridiculously overpriced at this level with what I'm about to say, but I do think there are signs showing that a pullback is warranted um, in the economy. And well, not in the economy, in the stock market. And we can look at starting with individual stocks to indicate to us that there are some signs of this. For example, Palantir today had a very big move down. And that's unlike Palantir. Palantir doesn't have a whole lot of moves down, has a whole lot of moves up. It's been very, um, very flat relative to its total lifetime performance, very flat the past couple of weeks, the past couple of months. So to see that spill today was quite interesting. We didn't see Snapchat hit new highs after it hit new highs this morning. So it seems like the more momentum and speculative, but still sturdy stocks didn't hold up today. And that's not a good sign, in my opinion, when the rest of the market is up. And for Palantir to be down that big, maybe it's time for a pullback in things. You know, we've been on this bit of a rally. Um, and I'm not saying that, you know, pullback should happen just because, you know, it's time. It's time. It's time for a pullback. No, that's not what I'm saying here. But there's signs of it happening. Um, certain stocks that are very big market weights, for example, Amazon and Apple and Facebook, I think are too expensive. That's my opinion. Maybe I'm wrong about that. But I think uh, their long-term dominance is questionable given the, I don't see Facebook and Amazon going 30 years with nothing coming out of Congress, right? Don't see that happening. Yes, there's a sum of the parts argument, but who knows? I just feel like you're not going to get your money back there um, in terms of cash flows if you invest. And I you know, think that at some point is going to correct itself a little bit. And what better time to do that than when it seems stimulus is no longer coming? It seems like the end of July is the end of this. We are all expecting an infrastructure package. That's not new. There's nothing, there's not, not a whole lot left to grab. Um, the new stuff left to grab is stuff like the OPEC meeting, not dumping a whole bunch of new barrels onto the market. That's sending oil up slightly today, and that deal still has yet to be finalized. It's still somewhat up in the air, but we'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, and maybe oil continues to rally, and those stocks continue to do well. They're looking pretty good on the technicals. Yes, Exxon is underwhelming today. That's okay. Um, we like Exxon beyond oil for their future products as well. And... Um, we're holding steady despite that. We had put on hedges yesterday against the possible downturn. When we saw the Palantir stuff happen today. As the market rose, we decided to add to that position of SPY puts. Still only around 1% of the entire portfolio value for clients. That bet could go to zero. We will see what happens. But we're putting enough that if it does go to zero... We're going to be okay with that. Um, and it's good insurance. Now, something I've been reading in Tom Lee's reports is that every time the market has had a very strong first half, which it has had a very strong first half, July is not strong. Um, I saw him compare it to a July that was up 0.4%, up 4.4%. But if you're only going to be up 0.4% in July, there's a pretty good likelihood that at some point you're going to be down 
in July. And I think it's probable that that happened. Not guaranteed, but probable. And uh, I'm putting some protection on. That could protect my portfolio and provide me with some return because downside options right now, ridiculously cheap. And typically when you see that, at least in my opinion and from what I've seen, you know, we see a little bit of a pullback. Now I'm not saying anything crazy, not saying a 10 or 20% kind of move here. I'm saying a cool off, you know, it really has, I, I don't remember the last time it was a down day. It was like the week before last week, you know? And I don't know anything that's happened. I think it's a little bit of greed and that's fine. We're all here to make money. But as Warren Buffett says, be fearful when others are greedy. So we're just putting a little fear on there and we'll see what happens. So until next time, peace out.